Today I'm going to show you something really cool and unique and that is a custom cursor for your Elementor website. Now, as you can see, if I move this cursor around, it's over here on this lady's head, you see that it's doing this whole spinning effect as well as a shadow. So if I go into the black side, you can see that there's actually a shadow that's being animated there as well. Now, if I go and hover over any sort of link, so like the navigation, a button, that sort of thing, you'll see that the cursor will actually change into a white cursor. So let me go do that over here. So yeah, you can see in the navigation that it's still that gray spinning one. But if I go over into a link like this home, you can see that it actually changed to a white one. And if I scroll down and I look at this button over here, you can see it changes into that white cursor as well. This is very easy to implement and if for whatever reason you want to actually remove certain pieces I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So for example if you don't like the rotation effect I'm going to show you how to take that out. If you don't want to have the shadow if you want to edit the shadow I'm going to show you how to take that out or edit it as well. Whatever your design preference is I've catered for everything into one single piece of code and then you can just remove pieces and everything else will still be functional. So let me show you how easy it is to implement this on your own website. So the first thing you're gonna need is the actual code and the images that are used in this tutorial. So in the description of this video, there's going to be a link that's gonna take you to a reference page on my website. So if you follow that link, this is the page that I'm talking about. If we scroll down, this is the code that you're going to copy and paste. And a little bit up over here, these are the images that I used for the main cursor image, as well as the hover image. You don't have to use images, you can use GIFs if you want to, or if you want to use the original .cur file that's for cursors, you can use that as well, the code will work. So you do have a lot of different options of really customizing your cursor. The only ones that won't work with this code is the .anr files, but that doesn't work on any website and the workarounds aren't that good. So the first thing you're gonna need is the actual images. So just click on this download images and you can extract it from the zip file there. So now here in the back end of a WordPress website, the next step is to upload those two images that you took from my reference page. So we go into media, we go into add new files and then you can just drag and drop them right over here. I've already done it over here. Here's my white one and here is that dark one we're gonna be using in this tutorial. We are going to be needing these file URLs. So do have a tab of this open because we're gonna be referencing these two particular URLs while putting in that code. Okay, so now that you've put in the images into your media library, the next step that we're going to do is we're gonna go into Elementor and we're gonna go custom code. Over here, we're going to say add new. We can add whatever title we want. It just has to make sense to you. So it doesn't really matter what it is. So over here, I'm just gonna say my custom cursor. Now the location, you can put this anywhere, but I'm gonna put this at the body end. It just works over there. I don't want it in my header that could potentially slow down on SEO. Now all we have to do is if we go to the reference page on my website, we just come down to this code section. We go to right over here, say copy, and then we paste this code right here let me show you certain points over here inside my website because it's colored there's going to be easier to show so we're going to need the urls four times three of them is going to be the main cursor and then the fourth url is going to be the second cursor that white one that we're going to be using on hover so if we scroll down this code you can see in this green section this is going to be the cursor one image then a little bit lower this is going to be cursor one image again third time if we scroll more you'll see cursor image two and cursor image one. Now, if we scroll back to near the top, you can see that this section here is the actual custom cursor itself. Then if we scroll a little bit lower, here is the cursor shadow. So if you want to edit the shadow, it's just here under cursor shadow. Okay, so, so here you can see the width and the height. Don't change the left and top because you do want it to be perfectly aligned underneath the cursor. Then you can see how much blur you want to add to it to actually give that shadowy effect and how much opacity of that image you want to show. Now we use the image and not any sort of CSS shadow because you can't really do that on an image. It's just going to be on the border of it and not the image itself. So the workaround is to use that same image and then just blur it underneath to give that shadow. And then obviously the opacity in that really sells that effect. And then it also, it has its own animation. So if you want to take out the animations, both the cursor has the animation line and the shadow has the animation line. So if I'm in the front end, you can see here where my cursor is moving, 
both are doing that effect really again selling that shadow now if we go just below the cursor shadow here is the actual animation this piece over here so if you want to change it in any way you can if you want to remove it just delete it which i'm going to show you again in practice i'm also going to show you how to not change the cursor for any reason so if you just want it to scale up or down i'm going to show you that as well so you definitely can use this code in a whole bunch of different situations with a whole bunch of different designs in mind so now let's go back to that code that we had just pasted here is that code we had just pasted just remember we haven't published this yet but we're going to need the urls of those images so here you can see that cursor one I'm going to go to the media library, select the cursor, copy the URL. And over here, I'm going to go highlight all these stars and everything. And I'm just going to paste it in there. Scroll down a little bit more. Here's for the shadow. Here, I'm going to do the same thing. Highlight everything that's in those little single quotation marks. Put in the URL. Scroll down a little bit more. This cursor 2, I'm going to ignore. Cursor 1, highlight, paste the URL. Now, if we go back into the media library, we go to the second image, which is this white one. And now we just say copy URL and this way it says cursor image two. Do the same thing, highlight it all, paste. Now make sure that here in the JavaScript section, it's a double quote and in the CSS, it is still the single quotes around the URL. Now that we have all that done, that's it. So we just go publish here, include entire site, say save and close. So now, if we go test this out in the front end, there's that exact image that we had just shown from the example working perfectly. Now, let's say you don't want the animations. So in the code, we come down over here, we go past the custom cursor, cursor shadow, we come down to the animations point here, and we can just delete this away so it doesn't have the animation. Two more points that you'd have to look, here on line 40, it says there's animation for the shadow. This, we take it out. And in the custom cursor part, this animation, this line 26, go and delete. Now, if I click publish, refresh the front end, now the cursor is not spinning, but still working. So again, you can take it out if you want to. Now, other thing, like I'd mentioned before, if you want to take out the shadow, it's about two, three steps, very easy to do there as well. In the code, here we go, we got the curse, the custom cursor, and here we have the cursor shadow. So we can just take that out if we want to. So press delete, that's fine there. And then just JavaScript section over here, we scroll down just slightly. Here it says create custom cursor element. So this second piece over here, this now line 40, it says the other constant shadow. So these two lines we just take out because it's looking for the cursor shadow, remove. And the second document body that says for the shadow here, delete. And we just say update. So now if we refresh the front end, now the cursor is working just fine and it hasn't got the shadow. Now I did add a little secret here. So if we hover over, you can see that the cursor now scales instead of rotating. That scale we can completely edit as well. So in the code, if we scroll down to the JavaScript part of it, which is near the bottom here, you can see that this link, it says scale one, and over here it says custom scale 1.8. I put a comment saying enlarge on hover, and this you can change to whatever you want, say, say a 1.3, or you can just leave it at one if you want as well. So if I click update, refresh the front, you can see that it's just slightly happening and it's not a big thing. Now, if you don't want to have the cursor change color completely, in the code, if we scroll down again, here where it says cur2, this one you just put the original image of that cur1. Now, because it's in the same place over here, I know that if I just change this to cur1, which is that image reference URL, and I click update and I refresh the front, you can see on hover, now it's just gonna go just a little bit of scale and not change images. So I gave you all the different types of functionality. Um, it, take out whatever you want, add in whatever you want. If you want to change the images, very easy to do. You just have to upload them into your media library. You can just reference those URLs. Then that applies if you want to use an animated GIF version of it. You can just put in the GIF 
and put the GIF right over here and it'll work just fine as well. No modification of the code is, that's needed. And as well as a .cur, which is a cursor type used in Windows, you can actually upload that cursor and you can put it in over here and it will still work. I am absolutely a big fan of this uh, cursor over here. It's really going to make your website more unique and I hope you enjoy using it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Stop.